Hi guys, and welcome to one more Hui Raptor video. Today, we will show you the FISAC F6 board version 1.3. This board arrived a few days ago, and I thought it would be interesting to talk a little bit about it. We are planning on installing this in one of our printers, and we will also show you all the installation steps. But first, let's take a closer look at the board. This board is equipped with an 8 bit at Mega 2560 microcontroller. The board measures 117 mm by 87 mm, which is a little bit bigger when compared with the MKS Gen L board. It has six driver slots where you can install your favorite drivers such as the popular Allegro A4988, DRV8825, the TMCs, etc. By having six driver slots means that you can have three extruders at the same time for multicolor printers, or a dual extruder setup and dual individual Z driver setup. The driver selection is easy and well documented in the FISEX webpage. What stands out is that this board is prepared for SPI and UART connection for the drivers that have that option. FISEC also has a special version of the TMC's 2130 that you can use in SPI mode and which are plug and play. And it works by using these two additional pins on both board and drivers. One of the first things we like to see when we get a new board is the quality control. This one we can say that it passed the test. The board is clean, we see no flux remains, the solder joints are well done and there are labels everywhere. These labels include information of the microcontroller pins and signal type 2, which is very handy. The screw connectors can handle more than 15 amps, which is very important for printers that have DC heat beds with no external MOSFETs or solid state relays and need to connect the bed directly. There are also three PWM control fan outputs an RGB LED servo and SD card reader outputs. The connectors used in this board, however, are not the traditional JSTs. If you are planning on installing or upgrading your board, you need to either cut the existing JSTs and crimp these instead, or do as I do with mine, which is to make small conversion cables and this way avoid cutting the original JST connectors. For display, we can connect the traditional characters or graphic displays or a touchscreen display here at this small connector. Fisex display solution for this board is a 4.3 inch color touchscreen. There is also a memory card reader for the cases where the display does not include one. The firmware modification looks easy as FISEC provides a library for this board that we need to include in our Marlin firmware sketch and easily assign the pins. The board comes already with a bootloader pre-installed so that we can quickly flash a new firmware version without the need of an external Arduino. As I said earlier, we will install this board in one of our printers, so stay tuned for the installation video very soon. And that's it you guys, hope you enjoyed the video, as always, keep following us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you guys like our work and wish to help, you can with PayPal and Patreon. We will see you guys next time, bye!